I thought because it was a special occasion I'd show my face for this box set. We're here to look at the 50th anniversary of the Beatles, Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It's been reissued a number of times of course, uh, famously in 1987 it was put out on CD for the first time. That was 20 years since the original album release. Now um, it was 30 years ago today that it was 20 years to ago today more or less. They've really gone to town, Apple have really gone to town and Universal with this new box set. This is quite momentous, it's the first time a Beatles studio album has been celebrated. So we've had loads of um, back catalogue uh, packages, um, the remastered CDs, the remastered stereo vinyl, the mono vinyl. Uh, the Japanese mini LP CDs that came out um, the other year. So there's been plenty of career spanning collections, but there hasn't been anything which focuses on one album until now. So here we have the box set, this is it. The contents in here are 12 by 12 inches. So the box is slightly bigger to fit that in. It's quite a weighty package. So this is like an outer slip case, um, but that you get the famous Peter Blake cover uh, and it's a lenticular sleeve but it doesn't give you two different images. The lenticular part of it is used just to give you some depth. I don't really know how well you can see that. It's creating a kind of 3D depth effect there. So that's kind of what that's all about. It really does look absolutely amazing. They've done a fantastic job uh, with this cover. The attention to detail is fantastic. I mean they've They've even written Sgt Pepper the wrong way around, which is as per the spine of the original album. And the back of the box gives you the contents, there you can see that. In fact, I've just realised I should just be holding this up without holding the box up. So yeah, quite glossy, just gives you the contents of uh, the four CDs, the DVD and the Blu-ray. Everything is done immaculately in the style and presentation of the original album, which you'll see in a minute. Once you've taken the slipcase off, what you're left with is, uh, this isn't a lift off lid box set, you'll see in a minute it's hinged, but it's done in the style of the old EMI tape boxes. And this box set contains all the goodies, so inside here we'll see we've got the discs, we've got a couple of posters, we've got the book, we've got the uh, original inserts that came with the vinyl record. So you do get a ribbon which helps you take the contents out of the box. This is a kind of gatefold folio which holds the discs. Now you'd be mistaken for thinking this is the vinyl record because it's exactly the same dimensions, 12 inch by 12 inch. It is the front cover of the album. Um, Apple was telling me they felt like they wanted a full size image. So this is gloss varnished. Uh, you can see it's very shiny. And front and back is kind of a recreation of the vinyl record. Don't know about you, I never really get fed up with looking at this image. Um, it's pretty spectacular, it's a lovely, lovely reproduction here. But instead of it opening out to the four Beatles like the album does, what you get here is, this is very much done in the style of the Fleetwood Mac reissues, so you get six slots where all the various discs go. And then on this side you, it goes through the contents of each disc. So these are the six discs here, these come in card sleeves, there's no spines or anything, they're just standard card sleeves, the sort of small size. Disc one is a CD, it's the original album, newly remixed to stereo by Giles Martin. Now if you're not sure what the stereo remix business is about, it's very different to remastering the audio. What um, Giles Martin has done, he's gone back to the original tape, some of the pre-mixed tapes, so he's not having to worry about tracks that have been bounced together. Um, he's gone back to the original tapes and he's recreated uh, new versions uh, in stereo of the album. So what that means is he can control where he's panning vo vocals, drums, that kind of stuff. Because uh, the criticism of the original stereo mix is it's very, very separate. If you've got vocals on one side, you've got instrumentation on the other, and it loses a lot of that focus and that intensity of the mono mix. So that's the thinking behind the new stereo mix. It's kind of like keeps the intensity of the mono mix, but in a stereo sound space, if you like. All of the discs, apart from the DVD and the Blu-ray, have the kind of classic Parlophone yellow and black label. There's four CDs in this set and 
uh, quite cutely the covers to the other CDs are alternative cover shots from the uh, original album cover sessions. I'll just show you these now. So that's CD2, which is various sessions, including uh, four versions of Strawberry Fields. This is CD3. Again, more sessions within you, without you. There's two versions, two versions of She's Leaving Home, a couple of versions of Being for the Benefit of Mr. Kite. And then finally, CD4 is the mono version of the album. So it's the original mono, uh, and it does come with some bonus tracks as well. Uh, the bonus tracks include the US promo mix of Penny Lane, which has a trumpet kind of outro, and, and a few other rarities. So they're the four CDs. And then the other two discs, they really share the same content. It, it's, it's just about giving you choice and not forcing you to go out and buy a Blu-ray player if you don't want a Blu-ray player. So um, there's a Blu-ray version of the 5.1 surround sound mix of Sgt. Pepper, which has been newly created by Giles Martin and his team. Uh, this is, because it's Blu-ray, you get full lossless 5.1 surround sound. It also offers you um, a high-res stereo remix of the album and you get 5.1 mixes of uh, Strawberry Fields and Penny Lane, so that's pretty good. And it's not, a, it's not a Blu-ray audio, you do get visual content on here, so you get the making of Sgt. Pepper documentary which came out in 1992, which was actually 25 years after the album. Uh, and you get the videos that were on the number one compilations. So you get A Day in the Life, Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. Now the DVD is basically exactly the same, except you don't get a lossless 5.1 mix. Uh, but all the other content is the same. The discs look good. There's the, there's the discs. You do get slightly different designs on the uh, slip cases. So that's the disc mm. element. So what else do you get in this box set? Well, you get a poster. This poster is actually a recreation of an original poster. I think EMI were a bit worried that even though it's clearly John, Paul, George and Ringo, they've made a point of saying it's the new Beatles uh, LP. And you get a really nice recreation of the original poster that inspired John's composition of being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. It, this looks really fantastic actually. There you go. I just uh... Apparently Yoko's got the original of this but it's not in great condition and they, they scanned in her original and decided it just didn't look very good. So they went back to the drawing board and recreated all the elements of this poster from scratch. So it looks absolutely spanking brand new. Now this is a recreation of the inserts which came with the original uh, album. Uh, for some reason, my dad still got his original mono, Sergeant Pepper, he won't give it to me, which is very annoying even though he hasn't got a record player. But uh, his, I don't know what happened to his one, it's missing, but this is what it looked like. Here's the hardcover book which is in the box set. Now books have a tendency to be either amazing or rubbish in music box sets. In the rubbish side of the field, suede aren't particularly good. I remember the Blood Sports uh, book was terrible. Um, you know, the Led Zeppelin books were all photos, it's just not much content. But, but on, the, on the positive, the Who, the books in the Who Super Deluxe Editions are amazing. And I think this Beatles Sgt. Pepper book goes straight away into the amazing category. Um, it's beautiful to look at. It's, there's 155 pages, I think it is, 156 pages, something like that. Just from the outset, you can see that it's got a kind of glossy, spot varnished Sgt. Pepper logo there. There's just so much content. I mean, it starts off with the full uh, inner sleeve design from the original record. And it, it kind of breaks the album down into the social, historical uh, setting and the era in which it was released. So there's, there's, there's a lot of content here, a lot of writers approaching the album from different angles, if you like. So we've got the path to Pepper, the London Underground, the world in 1967, songs and recording details. Uh, Sergeant Pepper's Musical Revolution, um, which is a Howard Goodall um, essay on you know, the musicality of the album. Uh, the cover story, Pepper arrives in America, and lyrics as well. 
So just to give you a feel for it here, I'm just going to flick through quickly. So they were Paul's original shoes, apparently. Um, sketches. All sorts of memorabilia. and But look how much text there is, you see. It's not just about images. It's about the history of the album. And So the London Underground is a section written by Joe Boyd, which kind of goes into the sort of psychedelic underground clubs and the underground scene of that era. And this, this is the world in 1967. This just puts it into context, really. Kevin Howlett, who's well known for his Beatles books, he writes this section here about the music. And the Every song gets its own sort of two-page spread. This section at the end, this is the bit about where Howard Goodall writes about the, uh, the album. So the book is absolutely fantastic. I haven't gone through all the various outtakes, hasn't been time yet. But uh, I mean, to me, that's one of the most exciting aspects that we're just going through those unheard sessions, listening to the chatter, hearing, you know, rough take one instrumentals of songs. I think that's gonna be pretty stupendous. And what I heard at Abbey Road, um, Giles Martin's new stereo remix sounded absolutely incredible. So I'm looking forward to listening to that. So I think when you think about what a, a music box set can offer you, um, you have to say that this ticks most of the boxes. It's got an absolutely fantastic book which takes you through virtually every aspect of the album you could possibly want to explore. Uh, amazing images, amazing text. And it's a hardcover book. I mean, it feels solid. So, you know, 10 out of 10 for this book. So you've got the book, you've got the original album remixed in stereo, as we've discussed. You've got the 5.1 remix of the album, which is brand new. It's only the second time they've issued a 5.1 mix as an audio only thing. We've had the anthology, we've had Yellow Submarine, we've had Number One's DVD and Blu-ray. But apart from Love, which was released as a DVD-A, we haven't had any 5.1 as an audio-only disc, so it's quite a big deal. So we've got the 5.1 mix, we've got two and a half CDs of outtakes, and of course on top of the books and the discs we've got the insert, the two posters, and the folio wallet which contains all the CDs. I mean it's beautifully presented, you can't really complain about that. The box set itself is lovely, it's historical, it's got attention to detail. It's appropriate for the content, I think. And last but not least, you've got the lenticular um, slipcase, which is very nice as well. Now, as you're probably well aware, this is around about £100. Some places it's slightly less than that, some places it's slightly more. I think in the scheme of things, if the, that price to me feels about right. I know no one wants to spend £100. I'd rather spend £65. You'd rather spend £65. But you know, if you think back to the Oasis, um, definitely maybe box set. I mean, that was, what was that, £119? And you got three CDs and basically a load of tat. If you think back to uh, Led Zeppelin, you know, those releases, you got CDs and albums repeating each other. And you got a book full of images and you got a nice box and that was it. You didn't even get high res as a physical disc. Uh, Sergeant Pepper, you get the high res stereo on the DVD and the Blu-ray, remember? So I think, you know, historically looking back over the last few years, I think, A, this is the Beatles, there's four of them. They're not going to put something out at uh, a budget price. Um, it's one of the most important albums, you know, certainly the most influential album of all time. Um, so, hey, you know, it's not going to be cheap. So I'm really looking forward to exploring the audio more here. Remember, exclusive to this box is the 5.1 mix, exclusive to this box is the book, exclusive to this box is at least half of those um, outtakes and sessions. There is a two CD edition which has some. 
but you know this is really what it's all about this is the celebration this reminds us why the album was so important why the Beatles are so important and I really don't think you're going to be disappointed if you shell out for this I think hopefully it'll be the first of many Beatles box sets we'll see uh, what happens I mean the rumors are that the white album is going to be the next release whether we'll see that at the end of next year I don't know could be a few years away so this has been Paul for superdeluxeedition.com showing you round the new Beatles Sgt Pepper Super Deluxe Edition. Thanks for watching, see you next time.